Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Every second counts. I mean, when it comes to speeding up your computer, you're looking to eke out as much performance as you possibly can, right? Don't you brag about how fast your computer starts up? I mean, that used to be the thing. I don't know if it still is these days with you kids. But I know that you would appreciate shaving, let's say, 5 to 10 seconds off of Windows boot time, if you could. And if it was easy to do, would you do it? We've given you a few tips and suggestions. I mean, I guess the tips would be the suggestions and, and other details and information in an article aptly titled, How to Improve Windows 7 Startup Time. So if you use Windows, don't you want it to run faster? One option, which I've shared with many of you, is to get rid of that hard drive, at least for your primary boot drive, and go with an SSD or a hybrid drive if you can afford it. Now, not everybody can afford it, but instead of going out and getting a new computer when it's feeling slow, maybe upgrade that primary drive to a solid state drive instead of the hard drive that it's likely on. Well, I can't say the drive is itself right now. Do you, I, I'm assuming that most of you are still booting from a hard drive. Upgrade to SSD. It'd be faster. Solid state. No moving parts. Uh, one other option you may want to look into are ghosted drivers. So you may have installed some hardware uh, a while ago and you're no longer using. Well, Windows may still be loading the drivers for that hardware that you're no longer using. Uh, get rid of it if you can. Uh, and of course, you got to be careful when it comes to removing drivers. If you don't know what you're doing, be very, very careful. But sometimes you're able to go through the add remove programs and control panel uh, to eliminate drivers that were installed previously on your system. And then you could dig in a little deeper within the, uh, uh, you, you know, your device manager where you can click and view hidden devices. We've detailed it for you in the article in case you're just, huh, what? We're looking for ways to help you get that computer to run as fast as humanly possible or inhumanly possible. Uh, another thing you might want to do is look at what is booting up on startup. So what will happen if you've got, let's say, 10 programs booting or that, that automatically load when you start up Windows, uh, Windows will sometimes try to run all 10 of them at the same time. Whew, that's a... It's not a good idea because then it, it's got to slow down here because it's got to get this one running and then it's running his from the, and it's all running at the same time. And it's multitasking, but just not as effectively as it could be. There are actually uh, free and shareware utilities that will stagger the loads of any one of those uh, programs that uh, launch when Windows first boots. But you may just want to look in there using a tool like msconfig built into Windows and then deselect programs you know you don't need to have running on boot because the fewer things that are running, well, the more responsive your system is going to be. We share that as a tip. We've got other suggestions too, not just these that I've shared. And you may have your favorite how to speed up Windows startup uh, tip to share or suggestion, tip or suggestion, tip and suggestion. But take a look at the article. Uh, hopefully we didn't miss anything. Feel free to share it with friends just like I'm going to do. I'm going to plus one it. I hope you will as well. We appreciate the knowledge that you're sharing with us because we enjoy sharing this knowledge with you. Take a look at the link.